feel like I... Hang on the sound. <sighs> Feeling like I fell off my turnip truck today. And as I run to like catch it and jump back on, I realize the truck's not even like rolling anymore. It's parked and I'm running for no reason. But it's strange, eh? Like I'm so ready for big stuff. Stuff I don't even sometimes say out loud in videos or to people because what's the point? And it's the little things that just like floor me and knock me out of the truck. Like I swear to fuck. I went to the grocery store today and you know, got the random things I needed because that's just, you know, what I do. <sighs> when I got to the cash register, there was someone in front of me. But the first thing I noticed was like, holy shit, there's like plexiglass in the three cash lanes of our little store. And that was like, I don't know, a rude awakening. Pshh slap in the face type of thing of the reality going on around me. The above keeps telling me to watch the news. It's like, no, dude, I won't. If there's something you feel like you should tell me, go ahead. But, and as I kind of look around, because, okay, don't stress, you fall off your truck every day, Michelle. It's not a big deal. Get back on. So I'm looking around just for, like, an anchor point, something to feel good and I see that the lady that's at the cash is the lady that we've known for four years every single time we go in there she will tease Lily Rose and talk to her and she loves Lily Rose like she would ignore me like even asking me for my card to be speaking to Lily Rose for four years so as I see her that it's her that's working you know, I'm back on the turnip truck and I'm riding high and everything's great. I'm kind of excited to, for it to be my turn because, you know, we can lift the energy. Lily's in the house. And when we get to her and it's our turn, like I already know something's not the same with her because she spots Lily when we walk in the store or the minute we're in line. And yet she hasn't really looked at all. And so when I get to her, I, you know, besides the obvious of whatever, you know, grocery-wise we're talking about, I says, it's Thursday, this is the only day you work here, are you working at your other job as well? Or has that been halted? And she says, uh, no. Both my jobs are essential services, so I have to continue working. I was like, what? Again, I'm off my turnip truck now because everyone I've spoken to, which is not a lot of people, <clears throat> but people I have spoken to told me that they had the choice. You know? That they weren't being forced or told that if they didn't stay that they would have an issue. Which I'm realizing, you know, and that's one of the reasons G above keeps telling me to watch the news. That, you know, if she said, I, I can't do this, she would be allowed to not. But she feels in the position that she's in, <laughs> that she can't say that. And meanwhile, I, you know, I'm asking her, like, are you okay with this? Like, do you feel good being here? And she's like, no. I would rather be at home like anyone else right now and like why do I have to be here if everybody else gets to like stay home because they're not essential you know and she's just letting it out she didn't look at Lily one time not one she couldn't even say hi she couldn't even she couldn't she was just like keeping her shit together to stay at work holding in tears while I was, while I was talking to her and like whoa that slammed me. Ain't gonna lie. 
Like I said, I don't get to speak to a lot of people. When I do, so far, the validation, the things I've heard from them are just things that pivot me and make me feel like the good stuff that's